New data from the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, found that greenhouse gases continued increasing in 2023. Levels of carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide all increased last year. Those are the three most common gases that, in excess, raise global temperatures by trapping too much heat in our atmosphere. But to drill down on carbon dioxide, the most abundant of the gases linked to global warming, it had its third largest increase in the last decade. Over 12 months, the average global surface concentration, or how much covered the Earth, was 419.3 parts per million. That is almost a 30% increase since 1980, a time when the amount of carbon dioxide was still within levels defined by MIT scientists as ideal. Now, according to NOAA scientists, it has been around 4.3 million years since there was this much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, back then, sea levels were 75 feet higher than today, and large forests occupied areas of the Arctic that are now the wintry tundra we know today. Rising pollution levels contribute to last year's increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide emissions reached 36.8 billion tons, a record level, according to the annual Global Carbon Budget Project. Now, scientists with the project describe emissions as being in a, quote, 10-year plateau instead of steeply dropping, which is needed to avoid climate disaster. Now, scientists partially attribute the plateau to the level of progress by different countries. For example, emissions increased in India and China, but declined a bit in the EU and US. For the other two greenhouse gases that raise global temperatures, methane and nitrous oxide, NOAA scientists continued tracking a concerning increase of their atmospheric presence. Specifically for methane, levels of it in the atmosphere are more than 160% higher than in pre-industrial times.